Adult Development Review Board. Um, um, my name is Carla Nuis. I'm the Vice Chair. We have Colleen McMurtry to my left. We have Tor Nelson and Josh Fitzhugh. And we have John Friedrich. Um, so we have an application tonight to, for a minor subdivision. And we will begin. Oh, we need to swear in. Um, it's the first time I've done this for a while. Um, so anybody that will be giving testimony, oh, please right. raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth? Oh, are you going to testify? Oh. Okay. Do you swear to <laughs> tell the truth on the matters before the board tonight under penalties of perjury? I do. I do. I do. Okay. <coughs> there's no uh, other people, so I guess there's no one seeking party status. You're involved with the application, correct? Yeah. So we will... Um, start with an overview of what you are planning to do. I'm David Barron. It's my brother's estate that we're talking about. And he died last year. And Ellen is trying to get his estate with uh, Ottoman through probate. And hopefully in the next few days it's going to come out of probate. And I don't want anything to do with the land, and Ben and Krista want the main farm, and Ellen wants the land that's down by Berlin Corner. And so that's what our, my objective is. I have no interest in the land. I still own a sugar place and a mountain pasture here in Berlin that's in my name. Yeah. But at any rate, what we're talking about is two pieces of property. The main farm was purchased in a swap in 1896 between my grandfather, Perrin, and Gardner Dustin. Gardner Dustin lived up where these people do, and uh, my grandfather, Perrin, had what you would know of as Richard Nye's house right up here at the corner. It's where I live now. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, at any rate, uh, they swapped farms, and uh, there was other land with Richard Nye's property at the time. But anyhow, that was 1896. And since that time, two things have happened. One is that the airport was built. And when the airport was built, 1940, more or less. Uh, my father and mother picked up one piece of, piece of land on the extreme eastern portion. The airport bought a bunch of land, and that separated the <clears throat> main farm from the sugar place. But that was 1896. And then after the 1940 airport, the only real thing that's happened to that is that when the interstate went through, uh, there was a very small corner of my brother's property that was taken. But it has nothing to do with the other right. piece. That was, so I'm talking about 1896. And then in 1955, my brother and mother and father bought the piece right up here, which is Comstock Road, smaller piece, Comstock Road, and they bought that from Mr. Ebbett. And uh, there has never been any useful connection between the two pieces. The, uh, where the border between the two pieces is, is a miserable hill that's only suitable for either a deer or a mountain goat. <laughs> the only useful connection, even though the two do touch for a low ways. Yep. So that's about all I have to say about it. That's a, so they were absolutely any... separate parcels, that because that one was picked up much later. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, parcel yeah. eight. I think it was, if I got my numbers straight, uh, 59 years later. Okay. Well, you're here, so we will go through the criteria because uh, in the event that I feel as though if, if there are two separate parcels it doesn't really matter what the tax records say because the deeds are what's, I mean, I don't know Josh what you think. But, uh, can I just ask a few yeah, sure. questions? Yeah, mm sure. -hmm. So I'm just looking at the, the plat here that we have. I'm just 
Can I, can I speak quickly to Platt? Sure. Yeah, sure. So, uh, in the process of our title search, our lawyer uh, discovered some inaccuracies on this plot that we are working with the surveyor to have corrected. Uh, so, you will note that there are three references on that plot to volume 35, page 207. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is not an accurate deed to the any of the parcels associated with it. Um, uh, in, in reality, the smaller parcel uh, should be referenced to miscellaneous book one, page 329. The larger parcel should be referenced to book 35, page 209. Um, so uh, our lawyer picked up on this in the course of doing a title search last week. Um, here's a letter to submit to the board. No, any copies I need here? This one. That's all right. That's fine. I have, I have copies for everyone if they want them. Uh, <clears throat> that explains this um, in detail okay. um, and uh, agrees with your assessment that, that uh, assuming that the survey is updated, it is on two different deeds and there is no need for a subdivision. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, per our lawyer's recommendation, uh, our request is for a recess um, at this hearing for us to sort out the survey issue. Oh. Um, so mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. there's, you know, we feel it's the, the almost 100% likelihood is that the survey issue will be settled in the next week at most, and at, what, at which time we would withdraw the application um, and otherwise we would proceed it, you know, if, if, if for some does. reason that we can't foresee there would be uh, a need for the subdivision, um, that we would proceed at the next yeah. meeting. So I think that I think you answered the questions I have, but just to confirm them that, so even though you don't have the, the references aren't correct, the, the, the this parcel parts. up here, which is identified as parcel, what's that number? It's identified Two, as right? well, it's lot A in their um, okay. application. Lot A. So this is the parcel that was acquired subsequently in like the yeah. 50s sometime. And, and there hasn't been any conveyances off from that. It's just, it's this, it's just been the same since, <coughs> since that was acquired. One deed to use a, using a, a spring. I see. Okay. Nothing else. And this is the property that would go to Allen, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And then there's a risk, this is the other parcel that was, goes that was swapped or, or acquired in 1896, as they say? Yep. And that's what go to okay. the Zabriskies? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So just, that's fine. <coughs> Do we see any, I mean, that, that makes sense to me if you want to recess. We, as long as we recess. Need to go date certain. Date certain. Yeah. So yeah. if we do it, do we know if we're having a meeting? When's oh, would be, be the first one in January? January? Are we scheduled? Um, there's nothing scheduled. If, if the attorneys confirm the title and you were sent us a letter saying that basically these are two lots have been separately described and two different lots, I'm not sure we... Yeah, know, I mean, if there are two, two different we, deeds, then there's We have to meet again lots. or we just... Well, I think that the, the idea being that as, as long as it is sworded out, we, they won't have to come back because they'll but just withdraw the application. But if for some reason it's not, right. they want to have it be on to, the they agenda. They should know what the date is. I, I, I don't think. Yeah. January 7th. January 7th? Yeah. So, what, so, do I... Before you do, um, um, uh, I think I would just, you guys are going to file a new plat? Because this, this one's been filed now, so this yes. one's... They would have to prepare a new plot, yes. Yeah, because it has some false information, right? Right. Yeah. So, do you, the, the plat that's, I'm trying to get the, the false plat out of the town record. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do. Can you un, get that, <laughs> un, un, uh, record it, or or does it have to stay in there in perpetuity as, a, as something that's wrong? That's what I'm trying to... That's, tr that's Rosemary, I guess. Is that, I guess I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to get taken out of there. Well, 
<coughs> you know, if it is sorted out and you file a new plat, can you say we would like this plat to replace the one that was submitted and then, you know, can but, we take but, it out? I would assume that's the case. I don't, <coughs> I don't, I don't know. But okay. That's, but what, we'd that's have, what I think we would We would have to like. find that out, we, yeah. My our our uh, surveyor said that uh, by the end of this week he would have the new one. Knowing him, he probably will slip it in the next week, but we expect he'll <laughs> take care of getting the old plat taken out and replaced, but how that happens in the town clerk's office, I do not know. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. So that's something we would have to find out. No, that's a rosemary. It's a rosemary. It's a rosemary. My, my guess is that she would do that. It, it's a technical thing. You're just you're not changing any of the lines. You're just changing the reference to the, the deeds. That's right. all. Yeah. I mean, it's it's clear that the well, you see, because both of these references are to the same right page, and so we don't want to scratch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just um, a compromise. Okay. So my guess is that it's happened before too. Is people will file something and then they don't realize that they have kind of a mistake on it. And if it's if no transactions occurred and nothing's relied on that, then I think you probably would say. No, no, what is the expression? No, no harm, no, no harm, harm, no foul. That's all, that's, that's, all, that's no. all I wanted to say. Is yeah, okay. That makes sense. Well, I guess I'd entertain a motion to recess this to January 7th. So moved. Second. Sorry. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 So I think we'd just like to, before, before that date comes, if, if you know yeah. that things are settled, then send a letter to Tom saying, Yeah. We're pulling it. Yeah, we're pulling it. We don't need to have this. Uh, okay. It's fun, isn't it? Good luck tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice piece of land. Especially lunch. coming out of a snowy your, evening. How did your uh, barn go? Barn directly. Um, it's getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah. So okay. I went by it today and saw the nice so boards. The also. north side is pretty. <laughs> I, I couldn't see the north side. I just saw the south side. <laughs> so I'm just curious. This The smaller lot was a swap with the nyes. No. No, oh, okay. No, the big farm. The big farm was. Yep. So they own that whole land in addition to where they ended up being or I'm just curious since <laughs> we live in the house. I want to know some of the history. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh Gardner Brig, Gardner uh what's Gardner's last name? But Austin. Dustin. Dustin. Gardner Dustin was a pretty old man, uh -huh. and since he was a pretty old man, he uh, had much more farm than he needed up on the hill. A beautiful farm, uh -huh. actually, before my brother let it go to hell. <laughs> but anyhow, it was a beautiful farm, and uh, uh, the other man uh, was an old man, and he wanted a small piece, and it was close to what, where the store was and the post office okay, yeah. and so on at the time. So it was a, he raised sheep, he had sheep. If you look around, you will find some very nice pictures of him outside with his sheep. Oh. Hmm. I guess maybe the second town report has that. Oh. Uh, town, I don't mean report, I mean. Town history? Yeah. I think you'll find that okay. in there. Okay. But now, was the schoolhouse existing then? The one that's on the, you know, across from Comstock? Or is that hard to know? Okay. You've <laughs> uh, got the problem there, but uh, what you want to do is come down sometime when they have a historical society. I know. Meeting. And definitely okay. talk to me. Can we let this guy go? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Talk to yeah. Richard Turner. <laughs> yep, he, I have talked to him. He's got he's